Here's a poem for my first granddaughter. Written five years and five grandchildren ago. <laughs> it's also a poem about Dublin, my mother's city. The child was born in the centre of the city, in the rotunda, the oldest maternity hospital in Europe. Rhapsody in pink. In the rotunda delivery suite, muffled midsummer sounds seep through an 18th century sash. Your clarinet solo, a police siren. That ambulance horn, a baritone sax. The traffic's timpani and trombones with jackhammers, wrecking balls, and the street painter's Christ of a pro-life procession. A Roma there on cardboard, a barber chorus, a barefoot clubber clutching her high heels, and a vixen from the Garden of Remembrance catwalking the tram lines en route to Chinatown, to a bin in Little Africa. This is for you, a daughter's daughter. My own, my amniotic city, as the midwives wash you briskly, within sight of a fresh water faucet, where I'd meet my own granddad. Gabardine open, tie thrown back, and humming good old Gershwin at the marble tub of the font. He remembered drinking from it like a street corner baptistry among draft horses, twenty hands high, where you come gushing now, brand new with a widow's peak and wizened feet, and seeing the world in sepia. <laughs> Nowadays, when I open the newspaper, I tend to go to the births and deaths, and not to the headlines. That may be proper order at my age, but it does remind me of two things, of my childhood mania for collecting important headlines and of our family housekeeper who raised us and indeed our own children. Uh, I was the seventh of eight in a busy household and she was greatly loved. Housekeeper. <clears throat> In your enormous dormer room, forty carpet rods above the letterbox, a flight over the nursery, I saved the front pages of burning issues. Kennedy shot, two men land on the moon, thirteen dead in the bog side, Saigon falls. You said they'd be valuable some day. They're not worth the paper they're printed on. Now I think of you rolling yesterday's property supplement in the fireplace of the big study, of the cold drawing room, and the little grate where you taught me the Hail Mary. Such expertise in the sleek twist of the steam-burned hand in the low breathing on the smoke of newsprint and a damp acorn from the orphanage cemetery. This morning's edition on the windowsill is already the jaundice of yellow journals. There are more life rafts off Lampedusa 
Stick women trekking north to find west. And charity texts you can tap for three euro to sight savers and to save the children. I'd stretch if I could to the highest brass handle in the wormwood tall boy where I stored Biafra and even the bombing of Nelson's pillar to the sock drawer's small side panel where you tuck the pocket insurance book to cover the costs of your funeral.